What's up, YouTube? It is Earthly Kisses coming with you with a promised cut video. On our last excursion, we made the Lick Me All Over soap. I'm sorry about the lighting. It is a very gloomy day outside. There's no sun. It's just gray sky. So I hope you can see that. That's the guest loaf. I love that uh, Crafter's Choice mold. It gives you good, 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 good corners. And here is the full size loaf. I hope you can see all the glittery, glittery on top. It's so pretty. Let's see what we got inside. Ta da! This is my favorite part of soaping. Oh, look at that. Isn't that just darling? Now, see, the red did not turn out red. It's more of a dark mango color, if you ask me. Okay. Keep it moving. So, I hope you all are having a wonderful day. I have had a rough couple of days, which is what made me make this soap. Um, uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, I got a little crumble crumble going on in that one. Um, I don't know what to attribute to that. Um, the only thing I could think of is maybe uh, the sodium lactate that I use. Mm. That or it's the way I slice the soap or it's just a really soft, 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 soft spot. I am getting towards the middle of the, to, towards the, middle of the loaf. Um, let's see if I can clean that up a bit. Okay, yeah, that's better. See, I just take the knife. And I just scrape it and see how much better that looks. Much, much better. Can't even tell it was over there. Ha ha. Yep. So we just clean that up just a smidgen. The lighting today is just horrible. It was a beautiful day outside yesterday. And um, I got a chance to get out and enjoy some parts of it. Uh, not a whole lot of it. Yeah, see, with this Crafter's Choice mold, the, uh, the edges come out so clean and so crisp. I really don't see the need to... Um, I really don't see the need to bevel the edges. Trying to be a little bit more careful. Taking that soap off of there. Um, and I know this is all just for myself, but I want my stuff to be cute too. Um, I don't have any takers uh, for this batch as of yet. And just you guys, I just take my knife and I'm scraping it here because eventually this soft soap here is going to be hard soap and then I can use that to make laundry detergent with one of these days um, hopefully very soon I will be investing 
and a new cutter. Um, I would love to have a bud cutter, but that's just not in my budget. That's in a way, 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 way distant future. Um, but what I, I may invest in a um, in a cheese slicer. I may do that. Um, so we can get inside and see how pretty it is. Hi. Apparently, as I was cutting, the loaf was moving on me, but isn't that pretty? I'm going to try this one more again, and I'm going to have to just hold my hand in place. <sighs> it's never done that to me before. I've moved while I'm trying to cut it. Up oh, there it goes. It's trying to move on me before I get it all the way down. Ugh, got it. All right. Uh, now it doesn't want to come out of there. It made a nice little soap, soap curl. Isn't that pretty? If we used to one of these days I am going to make soap curls. You know, things like that. I don't know if I have the patience for all of that. And now I'm feeling like this is really uneven. Um, but it'll be what it's gonna be. Make sure to keep my hand here so it doesn't move. Get a good even cut. Now these, because I'm not trying to be fighting with this. I'm trying to get this large of a piece of soap off of my cutter. So I just slide out like that. Now I have to get the soap out right. And there is our soap. Man, is that nice. That turned out so pretty. I have to say this is probably one of my best. Even though the slice is not that even. Yeah, this is the reason why I want to invest in a, another kind of cutters slicer or something work smart not hard that's my motto okay so let's get the scale going <laughs> it's just so furry And all right. So our first bar weighs in at four point three ounces. So these bars, I mean, even and I have filled this mold up all the way to the top. Um let's see this next one is 4.2 3.8 yeah and see that just goes to show you how inconsistent this cutter is it's almost like it lifts the soap or something I don't understand <sighs> yeah I think it's time to invest in a cheese cutter because I don't like all these foreign shapes that I get I'm using a miter box. I 
And I guess when you're using the soap, it really doesn't matter. But, um, uh, get the birdie. Doesn't matter, but it matters to me. And see, like this one is going to be bigger than the last one. I could just look at it and tell. It's 4.4. See? And I need consistency. Consistency. So, I don't know. Let me clean this off first. Maybe there's a trick to doing this. Um, that's okay. Got another one over here. Because soap likes to stick to everything. So, I got an extra one to use to cut with. You know, if there's a trick to using this miter box to get more consistency. Um, if you guys can comment and let me know, um, I would appreciate it. Um, some things just really, they just bother me. It's just so, so dang on pretty. I cannot believe that I did that. Outstanding. Oh, see, this side is way different than that side. That's just gorgeous. Yeah, this soap likes to stick to everything. kind of like when it comes out like that because then it's a nice clean cut nothing has to be done it might needs to be polished up a bit but it would be nice if that pink and you know I think that pink is gonna stay like that that's why I said this top maybe it ashed a bit I did spray the tops uh, with alcohol and see that's a big honking bar there too I just don't understand what I'm doing wrong when I cut these now that one is 5.2 so I guess one end of the loaf was a slightly higher than the other maybe because that is the biggest bar of soap right there <laughs> 